Hi, in this video I will show you my favorite keyboard shortcuts that I use literally on a daily basis. Every time I open my laptop or PC I use these. I even like them so much that I put them inside the hardware of my customizable keyboard so that I don't even have to run a script to use these shortcuts. At the end of the video I will tell you where to find them so stick till the end. So let's begin. First of all, my approach was to basically disable the caps lock key on the keyboard and literally use it as a function key. So in this basic version of the script, I use caps lock and WASD to mimic the arrow keys on uh, my keyboard. Why I'm doing this? Because on the keyboard, if I have my left hand on the keyboard and my right hand on my mouse, to go left or right or to use the arrow keys, I have to lift my hand from the mouse and then go on the arrow keys, which is not that ergonomic so I want to control the arrow keys like in a game with my left hand like go forward backward and so on and also when you're typing on the keyboard if I want to go back one character or another I have to go with my right hand on the arrow keys and then use the arrow keys to go back and forth then in that situation I can use my left hand to go uh, with the caps lock WASD keys to go back and forth in my documents or in whatever field I'm typing in basically this this enables me to move my typing cursor around without lifting my hand off my mouse. Okay, now let's step it up a notch and find more key bindings that we can use on a daily basis. Many times I find myself going to the beginning or the end of the line. So in that case I have to press the end or the home key on my keyboard which means taking off my hand, the right hand and going to the other side of the keyboard and pressing home or end which is pretty inconvenient and not that ergonomic. So I mapped these keys, the end and the home keys to caps lock Q and caps lock E. So I press caps lock key for home and caps lock E for end to the beginning and the end of the line which is pretty handy because sometimes you need to add something at the beginning of the line or you just need to jump your typing cursor from wherever you are in your text to the beginning or the end of the line which is pretty useful. So let's go to the next set of key bindings that you can use to boost your productivity. These are used to scroll around your windows and scroll through your browser tabs. So for example, if I want to go to the previous tab on my keyboard, I have to press Ctrl Shift Tab to go to the previous tab and to go to the next tab in my browser, I have to press Ctrl and Tab. All right, nothing special, but we can map it to caps lock one to the previous tab. And now instead of three keys, we have two keys. And also we can map the next tab with caps lock three. So I have caps lock one, previous tab, caps lock three, next tab. Now there's a special place for number two on the keyboard, which is used for caps lock two to close the current browser window. So this is mimicking Control W. It's nice to have these key mappings all in one place and not to have to switch your fingers around on the keyboard, which is pretty nice. And now the last one in this bunch of uh, numerical key bindings, I have caps lock 4 for closing my window, which is mimicking Alt F4. I don't know if you've noticed in Windows that you can also close windows by pressing Ctrl W. Not browser windows, but normal windows. But if you want to be sure that you can close the current window that cannot be closed with uh, Ctrl W, you can use Alt F4, which is bound to Caps Lock 4 in this case. Yeah. Now, the last bunch of useful keyboard shortcuts that I want to share with you are the backspace delete and return keyboard shortcuts. So I mapped mine to caps lock R for backspace, caps lock T for delete and caps lock X for return. So you might be wondering, why is this even useful? Why, why would you even want an extra delete and backspace <laughs> keys on your keyboard and, and another return enter key. Well, try this. If you are in a form on a website and you if you typed something and then you want to press enter, for me, it was closer to my hand to press caps lock and X to submit my form instead of moving my hand a little bit or uh, throwing my 
my pinky finger away to press on return and I found that more comfortable. I think you should try it out. And also the caps lock R is to press backspace. So from here I have to move my hand a little bit to press on backspace and it's not that nice. Also the delete key is placed somewhere over there and I have to move my hand to press the delete key which I use from time to time. So these come in handy uh, for me as well a lot of times. Now okay the last shortcut I want to share with you is the fact that maybe I want the caps lock key for whatever re reason to turn off or on sometime. But the main reason I uh, put this uh, shortcut in this script was because sometimes caps lock stays on or turns on in certain windows where auto hotkey has no access. So let me give you an example. If you run this script normally with no administrator rights and open up task manager and in task manager you try to press caps lock 4 to mimic alt f4 your caps lock key will turn on and the auto hotkey script will not run because the task manager window is running in a privileged mode so task manager would not let you uh, use the script inside uh, that window so you would end up with caps lock being turned on you exit the window and caps lock uh, remains on because it's not bound to anything so if this happens to you or you need caps lock to be turned on for whatever reason you can use the shortcut caps caps lock tab to turn back uh, caps lock on or off to switch and toggle uh, between the states of the caps lock key. And that's about it for my favorite shortcuts. You will find the complete script uncompiled in .ahk format so that you can edit it on my Medianopol website. I linked the website down below in the description so that you can go directly to the website and uh, check out the script. I also included a compiled .exe version for you to use uh, the script directly even if you don't have the auto hotkey software installed on your computer. Also as a bonus tip for you I would recommend to get a keyboard that is QMK compatible and then you can go to, to this website usevia.app also linked below in the description and make these shortcuts as bindings in your keyboard's hardware. This means that basically if I take out the keyboard out of my computer and plug it in another computer, I still have those shortcuts on the other computer as well, which is very nice because I do not have to install any software, put any .exe files on that computer and it's pretty handy to, to have it like that. I use the Keychron K7 keyboard I'll link it in the description if you want to check it out but this will definitely improve your workflow if you have it inside the keyboard because I noticed that the auto hotkey script sometimes gets a little bit buggy and it's not as responsive as an actual hardware keyboard shortcut which is nice to have. Alright thank you so much for watching this far leave a comment if you tried out this script give this video a like and subscribe to the channel for more interesting videos. See you next time. Ciao.